And greetings YouTube gamers, welcome to another episode of Retro Raider, my name is Johnny Retro and welcome to the channel. So it seems like it is official, Nintendo is going to release the Super Nintendo Classic Mini. So this is what we know so far, it's going to be $79.99, so $80, uh, it's going to have 21 games and 2 controllers. Now, a little bit more expensive than the NES Mini, less games but you got the extra controller. So here is the list of the games announced, so we are going to have Contra 3, The Alien Wars, Donkey Kong Country, Earthbound, Final Fantasy 3, F-Zero, Kirby Superstar, Kirby's Dream Curse, The Legend of Zelda, Link, The Link to the Past, Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, Star Fox 1 and 2, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Hyper Fighting, Super Castlevania 4, Super Goals and Ghosts, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG, The Legend of the Seven Stars, Super Mario World, Super Metroid, Super Punch-Out, and Yoshi's Island. Okay, so before I speak my mind about the SNES Mini, I want to take a step back and talk about the NES Mini. So I picked up my NES Mini uh, day one without pre-order, uh, I was lucky you know, I just went to the store and there was a bunch of them. And to be honest with you, I was lucky with the extra controller, which I didn't got day one, and uh, I got it two weeks ago, there you know, were a couple of them on the store and I just paid you know retail price, $9.99. So the big question here is, is this thing worth it? First of all, I think it's a very strange move by Nintendo because, you know, I think that Nintendo should be focused on the Nintendo Switch and the 3DS, but that's just my honest opinion. And to be honest with you, I just picked the NES Mini because, you know, I knew that people would find a way to hack this thing and add more games, which is exactly what I did. And of course that, you know, people will do the same thing with the SNES Mini, I think. So again, you know, is this thing worth it? Well, let's say that you have the NES Mini. With the NES Mini you can add, you know, a bunch of games, not just NES games, but Famicom, Super Nintendo, Super Famicom, Mega Drive, Genesis, Master System, and I could be wrong, but I think that you can add Neo Geo games as well. So what Nintendo is going to present us, you know, <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing. So another big question that I want to raise is, who is going to buy this, you know, are, are the same people who bought the NES Mini, because, you know, there are two different types of retro gamers in my opinion. I mean, you have the retro gamers uh, who are people who like to play retro games. Then you have retro gaming collectors who like to collect the physical copies. And you don't need to be a collector to play retro video games. But if you're a retro gaming collector and a retro gamer, you know, to me, this will never substitute this. But again, this is just my personal opinion. But if you are someone, you know, if you're a casual gamer, if you just want to, you know, pick up a couple of games to play, I mean, this of course, you know, it's a nice product for you. But at the end, you know, I think this is going to be the same crazy situation of the NES Mini. You know, if I didn't have pick up my unit day one, uh, and I was forced to give like, I don't know, 300 euros for it, which it's what people are paying for it right now, I wouldn't be interested on it. So for conveniency, yes, but to play my retro games, not at all. And another thing that I want to ask you is that, is this a collectible? Because, you know, there are a lot of clone consoles out there and, you know, the difference between those and this one, and of course the SNES Mini, is the logo. I mean, because this is actually an official Nintendo product. So is this collectible right now? No, I don't think it is. It was limited, but it is not collectible. So what Nintendo should do about this is that, you know, they need to have stock, because they sure didn't for the NES Mini. I don't know if they thought that this was going to be just picked for a small crowd, but, you know, the truth is that they didn't reprint this on the last holidays. So what is Nintendo trying to do with this? Well, in my opinion, they just want to make a quick buck. And even the list of the games is a little bit weird for me, because, you know, is Earthbound and Super Mario RPG classic Super Nintendo games? Or are games that are very popular in the retro gaming community because they are rare and expensive? And I don't blame him, I mean, it's their thing. I strongly think that it's a wrong move, but it's their thing. And again, guys, everything that I'm saying on this video is just my personal opinion. I'm not hating on Nintendo or the people who are going to buy this item. So am I interested on this? Well, to be honest with you, no, I'm not, because I have this. 
But I am very interesting to know your thoughts about the subject, so feel free to leave your thoughts on the comment section below. Are you going to pick the Super Nintendo Mini? Did you pick the NES Mini last year? Or you just don't care about this at all? As always guys, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to put a like on this video, please subscribe to the channel and take care of yourselves, take care of the gaming community and game a lot.